report, they'll be finished by 1,500 hours. Good. I want to send a message to Babylon 5. Attention of Captain John Sheridan. <laughs> and, uh, take this down exactly. Oh, good, Captain. I was about to call you. We just received a message for you. It's from Captain Maynard of the Cortez. It's, uh, rather rude, sir. Rude? Unless all your friends call you Swamp Rat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's an old nickname and a long story. I'll have to tell you about it sometime. <laughs> the Cortez is coming here for resupply. Yes, she just sent in the requisition separately. She's asking for a lot. Must have been out a long time. Uh, at least five years. How many Explorer-class ships have visited Babylon 5? None. Until now. Well, you're in for a real treat. Explorer ship coming through the gate, Commander. Take a good look, people. If you're supremely lucky, you may see two ships like her in your lifetime. Captain, I believe your friend Stinky has arrived. It's really great to see you, Jack. <laughs> yeah, you too, John. <laughs> Last I heard, you were heading for the rim. Yeah, yeah, we spent two years mapping most of Sector 900. You'll probably get the updated star charts in about a month. <laughs> hey, saw you on the news when they announced your posting here. Don't tell me you get ISN all the way out on the rim now. <laughs> oh, hell no. No, no, we got called back in to do a repair on one of the Euphrates gates. Oh. But we had to do a resupply anyway, so when I heard the news, I thought we ought to stop in. <laughs> Captain, there you are. Yes, Ambassador. Jack, this is Ambassador Delenn of the Mimbari Federation. Ambassador, Captain Jack Maynard. Ambassador? Captain, I was hoping to convene a meeting of the Council later this week to discuss the problems in Sector 19. No problem. I'll rearrange my calendar. Let me know when and I'll be there. Thank you. Captain. John, she's Mimbari? Uh-huh. Oh, she doesn't look like one. I mean, she does, but, but she doesn't. I mean, what's the deal? Still trying to figure that out. There's the story she told us, but then the Mimbari never tell you the whole truth. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> ah, this is some kind of setup you're running here, John. Yeah, it's big, beautiful, and crazy making. There's more going on here every minute of every day than anywhere else I've ever served. Yeah, it's quite a job. Never thought I'd see you in one like it. Listen, Doc, I appreciate your concern, but I eat what I want, when I want, and as much as I want. That was before you were shot. Right now, you still have iron deficiency. Your blood pressure's always been a little high. Now, I'm prescribing Preslokov and putting you on a restricted diet so you'll mend faster. Oh, but it's almost time for me to make my favorite meal, bunya cauda. What is it? It's kind of an Italian fondue. So you start off with a pint of olive oil, extra virgin, yeah. And then you melt about a quarter pound of butter into it. Oh, man. Then you take garlic. Lots and lots of garlic and anchovies. Anchovies? Forget it. Too much salt. And no bread. Come on, Doc. No salt, no bread, no anchovies. No bunny counter. Tough. There's a list of things I want you to try to avoid. But I, I, I like all this stuff. It's, it's, especially... Oh, c come on. Not... Doc, 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 Doc. There's nothing left. Well, sure there is. Here. This is what you can eat, see? All kinds of things. You're serious about this, aren't you? 